everyone assalamu alaikum i'm farzana hira welcome back to my youtube channel really grammar today i am going to talk about adverbs adverbs are words which tell us more about verbs adjectives and other adverbs they tell us how when and where things happen adverbs modify verbs adjectives and sometimes other adverbs they never modify nouns what is it they never modify nouns adverbs modify verbs adjectives and sometimes other adverbs they never modify nouns adverbs are usually placed next to the words they describe now let's see here the first sentence the child smiled sweetly at me the child smiled sweetly at me here sweetly is what sweetly is an adverb is an adverb and smiled what smiled is a verb here this adverb sweetly is modifying the verb here adverb sweetly modifies the verb smile now next one the leather the leather handbag is very expensive here exp here very is what very is an adverb and what about expensive it's an adjective adjective okay now this one here this adverb very modifies the adjective expensive now the next one i waited rather anxiously for the exam result here rather is adverb and anxiously is adverb too okay here what one adverb is modifying another adverb anxiously okay i waited rather anxiously for the exam here rather anxiously one adverb is modifying other adverb now how many types of adverbs are this is what how uh, adverbs can modify verb adjective and adverb now how many types of adverbs are adverbs are of five types adverbs of manner adverbs of time adverbs of place adverbs of frequency and adverbs of degree now let's go with the discussion of adverbs of manner now adverbs of manner adverbs of manner tells us how the action is done they answer the question how now swiftly clearly slowly badly easily quietly quickly all these are the examples of adverbs of manner here sheila spoke quietly to him how sheila spoke how quietly here quietly is the adverbs of manner the old man walks slowly old man walks how how does the old man walk slowly so here slowly is also adverbs of manner now adverbs of manner are formed by adding the ly ending to adjectives how here these are the adjectives right kind quiet angry happy if you have any kind of confusion about adjectives i have already uploaded the video about adjectives you can watch this now adjectives kind by adding the 
ly. What? By adding the ly, we made it adverb. Kind, kindly. Quite, quietly. Now, what about this one? Some of the adjectives, uh, adverbs are made like these two. Like here is y. So, we are putting the y instead of y. What? Instead of y, here will be i and then there will be adding a y. Instead of y, angry, angrily, i l y. Here also the same, happy, happily, i l y. Some adverbs do not take the l y ending. They have the same form as adjectives. Here such as far, fast, hard, high, last, late, long, low, near, straight. Now here, uh, as I told uh, just few seconds before that some adverbs have the same form as adjectives. Here, Hasif is a fast swimmer. Here, Hasif <coughs> is a fast swimmer. Here, fast is, here, fast is what? Adjective. Adjective. And swimmer is what? Noun. Here, fast is working as an adjective. Now, this one, Hasif swims fast. Here, swims is what? Swims is a verb. Verb and fast, here is an adverb. Because we know that, we know adverbs modifies verbs, adjectives and other adverbs. And adjectives can uh, do what? Describes now. Now, something to remember. It's very important. First one, adverbs of manner can be placed at the beginning of a sentence. What? Beginning of a sentence. How? Quietly, she quietly, she left the room. Then second one, at the end of a sentence. He walked up the heat hurriedly. End of a sentence. Here, between the subject and the verb. Mariam quickly left the place. Mariam is the subject here and the verb is left. So, between the subject and the verb. It is the subject and it's the verb. So, between the subject and the verb. Here is the what? Here is the adverb. Mariam quickly left the place. So, quickly is an adverb here. And these three sentences by asking how we are getting the answer. These are the examples of adverbs of manner. Now, adverbs of time. Adverbs of time tell us about the timing. When the action happened or will happen. By asking when we are getting the answer. Means they answer when. They answer the question when. Here, ago, soon, now, never, before, after, today, yesterday, tomorrow, already, since, etc. are the examples of adverbs of time. Here, for example, in the sentence, how we can use this. I have heard this before. Before is what? Before is the adverb of adverbs of time. Nirin is going to hang out with her friends tomorrow. They worked yesterday. All these are by asking when we are getting the answer. I have heard this before. When have I heard this? Before. Nirin is going to hang out with her friends tomorrow. When? Nirin is going to hang out with her friends tomorrow. 
they work late. When did they work? They work yesterday. When did they work? They work yesterday. So by asking when, we are getting the answer. Now here, things to remember. What, where, what, means where, which place we can use the adverbs of time. Adverbs of time can be placed at the end of a sentences. End of a sentences. Like Alex left for London today. This is the end of a sentence, right? We will reach the hotel soon. This is also end of a sentence. Now here, second one can also be put at the beginning of a sentence for emphasis, for giving the emphasis. Today, Alex left for London. When? Today. Today, Alex left for London. Now this one can be put in the middle of sentences just before the main verb. What I say? Just before the main verb. Here. Like, we will soon reach the hotel. Which one is the main verb here? Reach or will? No, it's not the main verb. Reach is the main verb here. So, just before the main verb. See, just before the main verb. What? Soon is the adverb. Just before the main verb, we put here the adverbs. So, these are the ways how we are using adverbs of time in the sentences. Now, third number. Adverbs of place. Adverbs of place tell us where the action happened or will happen. What I said, where. They answer the question, where. Now, like here, here, everywhere, near, down, away, inside, behind, above, etc. are the examples of adverbs of place. In the sentences, your bag is here. Now, if I'll ask the question, where is your bag? Or where is my bag? Okay, I'm asking the question, where is my bag? Somebody is answering, your bag is here. So, I am getting the answer of where? Here. Now, I walked backwards towards the door. I walked where? Backwards. Her children go everywhere with her. Where? Everywhere. Now, things to remember. After the main verbs, he will go out at 7 a.m. Which one is the adverb here? I said after the main verb. Here, main verb is go. That means this is adverbs of place. He will go where? He will go out at 7 p.m. Now, Shelly ran outside to get the mail. Ran is the main verb. Here, this is the main verb. And this is the adverb. And here ran is the main verb. And outside is the adverb. Okay. So, Shelly ran outside to get the mail. Here ran is the main verb and outside is the adverb. And the rule is, after the main verb, that means after the main verb, adverbs of place is used. Now, after the object, after the object, if there is only one object, only that time. The man have carried the table upstairs. What do you say after the object? Means which one is the object here? Yeah, this one is the object here. Here, carried is the main verb. Carried is the main verb. The table is the object. And which one is the adverb here? Yes, upstairs. Because I said 
after the object. Here is the object, the table, and upstairs is the adverb. Adverb. So, after the main verb, this and after the object, if there is one object, then we are using what? Adverbs of place. Adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency tell us how often the action happens or will happen. What they say? They answer the question how often. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, rarely, never, every day, hardly ever, etc. are the examples of adverbs of frequency. Now, in the sentence, Max goes for a walk every day. How often? Every day. The girl normally eats three meals a day. Normally is the adverbs of frequency here. They often go out for dinner. Which one? This one is the adverbs of frequency because they are answering the question how often. Now, Things to remember, adverbs of frequency can be placed at the beginning of a sentence. Sometimes, Rehan comes home late. Here, sometimes is the adverbs of frequency. It is placed beginning at the beginning of a sentence. Here, at the end of a sentence, we play tennis with him frequently. How often? Frequently. Between the subject and the main verb. Between the subject and the main verb. Here, Sarah usually eats in the canteen. Here, they say between the subject and the main verb. Sarah is the subject here and it is the main verb here. So, Sarah usually is and usually is the adverbs of frequency here. How often? Usually, Sarah. Usually, it's in the canteen. And number D. Immediately after the verb to be. Immediately after the verb to be. Alina is never late for work. Here, is is the what? To be verb. Alina is never late for work and after the verb to be. Never late for work. So, this is how we are using adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency, uh, as I told before, that adverbs of frequency tells us how often the action will happen or happens. Now, here is the chart. Always 100% when we are using all of that means we are sure about the 100% one. Okay. Now, frequently 10%, usually, normally, generally 80%, often 70%, sometimes 50%, occasionally 40%, seldom 30%, rarely 20%, hardly ever 10%, and never 0%. Now, all this we can use for the positive statement. Okay, with the positive verb. But only with never and hardly ever, we use affirmative verb. Here is the example. We never, he never smokes. He never smokes. This is the right way to use never. He does not never smoke. This is the wrong one. This is the wrong one. We can't write like this. We have to use like this. He never, never smokes. And this is the wrong form. What? He does not never smokes. Never is the negative verb. So, we will go like this. Now, the last one. Last one is here. Adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree are used for what? Are used for emphasizing on something. Are used for emphasizing on something. They answer the question of how much. How much. Now, 
two very extremely almost fully enough quite etc are the examples of adverbs of degree now in the sentences she is almost 30 here almost the water was extremely cold how much extremely you are walking too slowly too slowly it is also related to how much the girl is fully prepared the girl is fully prepared how much the movie is quite interesting the movie is quite interesting how much interesting quite interesting now things to remember adverbs of degree usually placed before the adjective adverb or verb adjective adverb or verb now the first one she is running very fast very is an adverb and fast is also an adverb so one adverb is modifying other adverb here now i have almost finished almost is an adverb here both are the adverb and here almost is an adverb and finished is a verb right finished is a verb now the food was extremely hot here extremely is the adverb and hot is the adjective adjective okay so before what what part before adjective adverb and verb like this way we are using adverbs of degree now let's review the topic again adverbs of manner is about how adverbs of manner how adverbs of time when adverbs of place where adverbs of frequency how often and adverbs of degree how much so now let's start practice here first one everyone always speaks well of mark everyone always speaks well of mark so what which one is the adverb here always is the adverb here so what what kind of adverb it is always everyone always speaks well of mark always means how often right by asking how often we are getting the answer always so it will be how often will be what yes adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency okay now second one the audience laughed loudly adverb the audience laughed loudly now what kind of adverb it is loudly the audience laughed how how the audience laughed the audience laughed loudly so it will be adverbs of manner now third one lucy ran upstairs to her bedroom lucy ran where upstairs so since it is about where so the answer goes with what yes adverbs of what place adverbs of place now kelly drives carefully kelly drives carefully kelly drives how how does kelly drive carefully so by asking the 
question how when we are getting the answer that is called adverbs of by asking how it will be what adverbs of manner adverbs of manner now they will arrive tomorrow tomorrow is the adverb right they will arrive tomorrow so it's about the timing when will they arrive they will arrive tomorrow it will be adverbs of time now this book is quite interesting how much interesting quite interesting so how much is from adverbs of degree adverbs of degree now i never forget a face never is the i never forget a face never is what never is the adverb here and it's about how often it will be adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency now first one is about how often adverbs adverbs of frequency then second one is about adverbs of manner and third one is about adverbs of place fourth one is about adverbs of manner and then fifth one is about what tomorrow it's about adverbs of time and sixth one is about adverbs of degree it's about how much it was it is interesting how much okay and the last one is i never forget a face it's about adverbs of frequency so that's all for today guys hope it would be helpful for you thank you so very much for watching the video see you soon inshallah till then stay happy stay safe